Hello my bunny buns! Welcome back to my channel! I am Brushes and Bunnies and today we're doing a digital art challenge! A lot of you guys in my streams and or video comments have commented asking me if I can do digital art or if I would ever be willing to try digital art. And well, the answer to the first question in terms of if I've ever done digital art, that answer is no. I did it just once, maybe when I was 14 years old. It was very, very like quick. I tried to draw this really ugly little um, manga looking thing and it just didn't turn out and I completely abandoned my quest to become a digital artist. Uh, so I stuck to traditional art as you guys can see on my channel and I just never started digital stuff again. Like I was always interested but I never, I, I just thought it was too complicated and I never gave it a good shot. But today I was feeling rather spontaneous and I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. We found a very old Wacom tablet lying around. I have one from my earlier days. I think it's literally probably 10 years old and so does my husband. So it's kind of like the first generation tablets and it still works. And this is what I'm using for this video. Now in terms of the drawing itself, I really went into this very blindly. In terms of the drawing, the initial sketch, I was pretty familiar in terms of what to do and how to do it because I've been practicing the human form in private in my sketchbook for a few months now so I thought that the face would be rather easy to, to do. I used a reference photo for this nonetheless because just the transition from traditional to digital is actually very hard. I find it hard. I, I had a hard time getting used to the pen. I had a hard time getting my proportions right. I had a hard time drawing circles, just drawing regular shapes. It's a very strange experience just, you know, being able to just look at paper and draw and then switching to a tablet where you have to look up at your screen to see what you're drawing. Just kind of like, you kind of have to rethink the way that you're drawing things. And I was so completely out of it, I couldn't get it right at the beginning. So you guys are definitely seeing my struggle here. Another struggle that I really had was in terms of the shading technique, shading and highlight and coloring the skin and making those blends. I'm really unfamiliar in terms of the brushes to use in Photoshop, although I am quite a, um, I don't wanna say expert, but I am quite very, very familiar with Photoshop. I still did not know my way around in terms of painting something with Photoshop. I did search online for any sort of resources or tutorials to help me in terms of getting the skin right, um, getting the blends, figuring out what which brushes to use. I'm still kind of extremely beginner of, of what is needed for this, for brushes especially. I just really just went into it um, with what I thought would work best and I went ahead and did it. Uh, I did use a really helpful tutorial. It's just an image tutorial that was found on DeviantArt. I will link it down below in the video description. This really helped me get started in terms of the outline work, sketching with a pencil um, in Photoshop, and then adding the layers in terms of the shadows, the basic, the base color, and then the highlights afterwards. And this tutorial really, really, really helped me. And this is sort of the technique that I'm using now in the drawing. So if you guys are interested, I do, or I will be adding the link down below in the video description. Also, I do have to apologize for the filming of the Photoshop uh, canvas. <laughs> it's the first time that I actually do this and I just didn't realize that the zooming in and out would look pretty hectic in terms of the recording, like the fast forward recording. So I do apologize if it's making you dizzy. I will probably do a speed painting uh, of digital art in the near future again. I did really enjoy this and as I learn, I'm going to uh, figure out how to record it much better so it's not so dizzying. That being said, I think that this digital art challenge was extremely interesting and for the near future, like I've already mentioned, I will most likely be doing more digital art. I am completely fascinated with the creative side of digital art. I've always admired it, I just never really gave myself the um, pressure to try it or 
um, I always had this sort of feeling that I just wouldn't be able to get it and I would dis it would you know discourage me that I wouldn't be able to draw as nice as I usually draw in traditional art. I'm really happy I decided to do it today because I realize now that it is possible. It just takes a long time, but it is possible and as I progress, I will most likely for sure get better. It's just like anything else, you need to practice, practice, practice and um, you will eventually get there. Now this drawing itself, it is by no means perfect. I see that like her proportions in terms of her eyes, her lips, just her general face is not entirely there yet. I, I do recognize that, I do realize that, and um, I am still learning how to draw faces. So I'm just, you know, you gotta be kind of proud of what you achieve as you progress. Um, so instead of seeing what, you know, the faults in things and how, how bad it looks, you have to be proud that you accomplished something and you tried something new especially if you're going from traditional to digital. So guys out there, if you're thinking of trying this challenge, if you're thinking of doing a digital piece, uh, I definitely recommend it to give it a go, see what you can achieve, you may surprise yourself. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a big thumbs up, it certainly helps me and I really appreciate it. As well as comment below, have you guys ever tried digital art? What do you think of it? Do you enjoy doing it? I certainly do and I think it's a great way to learn how to do shadows and highlights and all of that fun stuff when it comes to drawing. Don't forget to follow me on social media, I do have Facebook and of course Instagram which I post on a regular basis and don't forget to subscribe guys! So thanks again for your support and I will see you guys very soon, bye! Just run away with my darling